Hello, Scrappy Peeps. Susanna here today for the Scrap Room, and I am sharing with you a layout created with the February Flavors of the Month kit, and I am using the Simple Stories Simple Vantage Weathered Garden Kit. So you get three pieces of patterned paper in the Flavors of the Month kit, which I'm showing you, um, as well as two pieces of cardstock, and this is Fig Squirrel this month. I absolutely love it. It's a it's a really great greenish cream, and then you are going to get a sixth of a pack of foam stick. Stickers, um, some enamel dots, and a mixture of the bits and pieces and the floral bits. So that's what I'm showing you there. Um, if you get the pa pattern paper add-on, uh, you will get two pieces from the Simple Story collection, and that is the embellishment add-on, the stencil, which I am going to use to um, embellish some of the florals that I am going to fussy cut. So that is what you will get for the Simple Stories part of the collection. Um, remember, flavors of the month means that you get four different uh, collections. Uh, so you'll also get Echo Park Birthday Boy, Pebbles, Kid at Heart, and um, Simple Stories Happy Hearts. So I have two pictures of my son and one of his fellow teammates from the Virginia Tech Swim Team, um, and they were at the Senior Banquet. And um, they're very busy pictures, um, and so I converted them to black and white because um, you really didn't need the color. She's wearing a black dress and he's wearing a black sports coat and pants. Um, and then that way you also didn't see the busyness of the people behind them. So I am going to use a stripe down the side, and then my plan is that I'm going to fussy cut some of these florals. So there are floral bits and pieces that are included in the embellishments, but I really liked this corner piece. Um, and then I wanted one of those really big flowers uh, on the layout as well. So in a second, I will um, skip through this. But remember, when you are fussy cutting, you want to move your paper and open and close your scissors. So you can see how my scissors stay stationary. You just get much better cuts that way. Um, and if you have aging eyes like I do, don't forget to put your reading glasses on, um, which I often forget to do. And I've noticed lately that my um, fussy cutting is not quite as precise as it once used to be. So I will skip ahead um, the remainder of the cutting of the florals. So you can see I've cut a bunch of the florals out. Um, and now I want to use the stencil from the add-on to just add a little bit of extra yellow to the page. Um, and so I have, I believe this is bundled sage, um, which is kind of a greeny yellow uh, to add a little bit more of the yellow from the collection into this. I did not get a lot of yellow in my embellishments, um, but I know I want to use that word sweet as part of my title and so I, I can't have that just be the only yellow. I need to incorporate that somewhere else into the layout. And so I'm going to try and do that through um, the stencil. So this is a new product, so be sure to check back Monday. I'm giving you a sneak peek from ThermoWeb right there. Um, and I don't want all of the branches, the greenery, and so I'm using this tape to cover over the bits of the stencil that I don't want to use. I want to add just a little bit of a vintage -y look to that, um, so I'm just going over them with a, just a teeny speckle of brown um, just to kind of age it a little bit. So that is going to be my bottom left corner where I want to put the uh, title, I think. Um, that is the intent anyway. And I definitely intend to put a butterfly down there. So as I'm thinking, as I'm building the layout, that is what is going through my mind. So I'm going to put this gingham over here. Check. Gingham, I think that's more of a check. Um, and then I'm going to use one, this long, tall piece from the, this this is the pattern paper add-ons, um, to house my journaling, but also just to put an extra layer in. Um, I don't want a ton of layers because I don't, um, but uh, the busyness is in the movement of the flowers. So I don't need a whole lot more than that, but I wanna have somewhere to journal as well as have at least a, another layer over there. So I thought that was a great way of getting a layer. I thought maybe I might use some of the yellow um, on the back right there to pull some of the yellow into the top left, but it's, it, it, to me, it became visually annoying um, more than visually enhancing. And so I left that out. Um, so Chase is one of Nicholas's friends uh, from Virginia Tech Swim and Dive. She is um, the class ahead of him. She's actually, I think she's from Delaware. Um, we have 
he had met her prior to moving out to tech um, and knew of her. We and we'd seen her name um, a little bit, and so at the banquet, he 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 knew Mom wanted pictures, um, and she very kindly um, decided she volunteered or agreed to be in a picture with him um, so that mom could scrapbook this moment. Um, my kids are very, um, they, when they, when I ask, they do participate. It may not always be willingly, but they will participate. Um, so I, I do appreciate that. So I like the way that the flowers kind of point to each other. Um, and so it also covers up some of the busyness at the bottom of the photo. So it's a great way that you can uh, eliminate distractions that are in your pictures. Um, and then I'm just going to take some of the embellishments and scatter them throughout the page. I want to have sweet as a title. Um, and then I will use from my own stash friends. Uh, so I'm actually going to use, I believe it's Studio Calico letters that I had used recently on a memory pl planner page, um, and then incorporate a few of these other elements. I didn't need any other floral because there's really a lot there. Um, so there's the butterfly that I intended to put, but I need something up that top left side there. I definitely need some other yellow. So the yellow heart you can see works out perfectly. Um, I am going to rearrange them from the setup that they are there just a teeny tiny bit. Um, and I am going to move the butterfly up to that top left cluster up there as well. So really um, not a complicated layout, but just enough of the floral to give you um, just, you know, that sweet look. Um, and in a way I've got a visual triangle um so but more i have more of a visual lot it's the triangle is created with the three with the actual four florals so you can go from the title up to the top left down to through the pictures to that floral down through the journaling to that floral on the right bottom right um so you can see that triangle there um but it could also operate on that diagonal principle of design elements as well so um, if you are not a subscriber to the Scrap Room Kit, I definitely recommend it. Um, if not, you can also buy one-offs on the Scrap Room as well. Um, if you have any questions about those subscriptions or the kits, please don't hesitate to leave those in the box down below. And there is a great sketch this month. If you are up for sketch challenges, be sure to check out the face group book. So here are the close-ups. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you are doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.